I have no idea what Jay's doing. I hope I don't wreck it. Live on the Jane Blaine show. Go do it, clock. <laughs> that was good. That's why we're warm. What are we watching? The Jane Blaine show. I'm Jay. I'm Blaine. <laughs> then we like to party. Right sleds. You're a little reckless. You're pretty professional. Steve. <laughs> Controlled recklessness. We oh. like to have fun. Ultimately, we're just two humans that have the best time of our lives every single day. Yeah, living the dream. And fortunately for you guys, the cameras now are fly on the wall, so you can always be there for whatever we're doing. We're gonna pretty much bring you along for absolutely everything we're doing. The shop stuff, the wild ride, the races, the exciting trips, whatever it may be. Yeah. So subscribe. Buckle up. Buy our merch. There's merch? No, we don't have merch yet. But... <laughs> this is the season, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is the season? You have this snowmobile? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're so good looking, dude. Rushies. Big snow dances. We need them. It's coming. It is coming. It's like a week straight of this. Yeah. What's your back in? It looks a little bit lighter. I think they did punch out just a little more. Yeah. Several years working on this to get it in stock and so I can really race it. Yeah. Pretty excited. Look how level it's, it's what, yeah. Compared to, I was comparing it to like the, the consumer sled sitting yeah. in the showroom and you know bumper height is lower and the whole chassis is lower, flat, way flatter. This is our vintage Hades to Jackson build. Didn't buy it in Hades, bought some parts for it. We just robbed a part from them pretty much. Yeah, Martin's gonna probably be drooling over this. Yeah. We got flames, we were fast already. <laughs> Found it locally, it's an 03 MXZ Rev, believe it or not. And we're gonna turn it into a mod hill climber. It's gonna be a pretty sweet process. What's really cool though, it's so like cherry now. Yeah. Because you just don't see them like this. Really and honestly, it's gonna make the whole process a lot easier than yeah. if it was yeah. beat up or tore up. So basically, I mean, it comes down to who wins the race between the four of us, or I guess the, the groups. But I think there's a little competition that like kind of goes without saying of who's got the batter sled, cooler sled. And that's for the fans to decide. So 
yeah. we're gonna do our best. Carl Kuster, Steve Martin, the old guys versus the young guys. What makes it unique is like this is their era. It's yeah. Their prime. So like everyone's kind of putting their money on them right now because they know they know these sites really well and they know how to build the mods out of these really well. But uh, I think we can outride them because they're getting old. Jesus. Like, yeah. What? At least 50. They're like 50 years old. So. But we'll see. It's going to be tough. They're going to show up and uh, so are we. All right. You want to come see what's going to smoke your ass at Jackson? All right. Is there any <laughs> way you would sell that to us? 250. 250? 250. You want to go half? That's the only way I would do it. <laughs> we'll take it care of it. Come on, Steve. Let's go. Come on, Steve. Back in the cockpit. Yeah. How's an end go? How does an end go? <laughs> Stand next to yourself, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they spent their vintage money on. So. No, that came out of the J and Blaine fund. Okay, perfect. Alright. It's not done yet. But that's that's the uh foundation of uh, number one and number two at the Jackson Hill Climb Vintage Races. Good luck, Steve. Yeah, you got your squids. That's all you can say. Take note, Steve. That's what you're going to be behind. Second place, first place. Lawrence. Should we do a burnout on his face? We're just waiting on a snow report. The weather looks really good. We want to go ride today, take our rib out, but the, uh, the weather says tonight it's supposed to get pretty wild. So we're thinking maybe hold off till the morning because there's potentially going to be a foot to foot and a half of snow where we want to go. Yeah. Fresh. And there's already like six to eight inches, I think. Mm -hmm. We're studying. We got to study to ace the test. So. Research for development. Little union break to watch some sled videos. What? Sue us. Vintage sled hacks. What's he doing? I don't know. Productive day at the office. Check snow depths. Super eager to ride. Don't question what we come up with. Here's a good one. Well, right over here, look, way wider than the Look, I got a good spot. Good enough for rimshot standards. One point four inch and a half. Yeah. So if we cut our tracks down to inch and a half, we'll be good. The best part is, is he's always like, got to have his little ski guards on and he just sparks are just flying as he pins it out of the garage. That was so loud. That was so loud. What? <laughs> I bet my bumper. Really? I ran into the ranger. <laughs> it's a square nose now. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the ranger. What was on this damn ski guide, some track guide? <laughs> that thing shot out, shot out so fast that this just sparks were flying. Uh, Welcome to the Jane Blaine Show. Welcome oh, to the Jane Blaine by Ranger. <laughs> Damn it. Not the Ranger. We'll just uh, get her down to her bare bones to see what we got to work with. See, that's the advantage that Carl and Steve have on us, is they've worked on these. They've 
had these in their fleet before. And we never have, so this is like, this is like a brand new experience for us. One eighty nine point two stock panel, mod panel. One eighty five point two four pounds, right in the. I panel. don't even need a calculator for that. Four pounds per panel. That's pretty good. We got these at Hades for two hundred bucks. These are the limited edition. Yeah, OEM lightweight panels. We got the hood as well. That's a huge weight saving. That's pretty sick. We're already down like seven and a half pounds. Cause the one panel is just a little lighter than stock panels because the offside, but. Oh, and it has the clutch cover stuff. Yeah. yeah. We just gotta order like those brackets. It looks sleeker too. Factory. Let me get them cologne. Smells so good. We're going out tonight, baby. <laughs> Drop a comment if you want some Jay and Blaine cologne. We're going to Tom Roby's. He's uh, kind of a skidoo legend. He raced for 100 years at least. He's got a lot of the knowledge too. Like he was, he lived. Uh, his prime was in the Rev era, for sure. The Rev era. The Rev era. He lived it somewhere. So we're gonna go get learn a little bit from him and uh, say hello. Calm. What do you think? We're at your front door. You're not at my front door, you're at my garage door. <laughs> okay. I'm coming to the garage door. Oh, oh right. you're here, nice. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Hopefully he has pants on. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Robbie? What's up, man, Ryan? <laughs> we brought the camera. Oh my god, not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good, man. How about yourself? Good. good to see ya. Three pipes. Don't use all the film. Hey, uh, do you want to build a old mod? Yeah. Well, you should buy that motor from me, and that snowmobile outside. Which snowmobile outside? My mod. O3 Rev. Yeah. Oh, we gotta eat. Oh, that's right. Well, I the mean, mock? the mock would be pretty sick to just throw the curveball at them. They'd be like, what? But do we want to show up on two different slides? Maybe we should. Maybe we should have two different slides. That'd be wild. See, that, that's the kind of YouTube stuff you got to be doing. <laughs> but YouTube. you make a video first. Give, us, give us a shout Wait, out. Shout out, editor. Stop, pause, not. Shout out, comment if you think Jay's driving a subpar par or a bump par. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna ride it tomorrow for sure. We don't even have a windshield, it's so mob. For sure, gonna ride it tomorrow. It's nuking outside, spirits are high. We're gonna go ride it tomorrow. We even have our resident permit. parking lot for the first rip of this season. It snowed like eight inches in the valley last night. We're gonna go see how much more is up top on the rev and a couple new gen fives. So, it should be pretty good. Stoked. I can't wait to ride it now, like it's completely stopped. It's pretty mint. And then when we get this thing completely done, oh yeah, we'll be able to see the difference in the performance, the power, and the weight. It's gonna be a weapon. Yeah. How about Blaine does backflip on 03 Rev? Now that'd be sweet. On first ride, that's quick, baby. Push the limits right out the gate, baby.
Um, well, that coolant line that came off earlier, you know, we lost, we didn't know how much coolant we lost, but we probably went two miles and now it's overheating a little bit. So we're just gonna add a little water. That's the cool thing with these, any sled actually, if you're in a situation, you can just add water to the coolant level. So we're just gonna add a little water and we'll be back in business. That's why I have to blame these cowboy. He just gets in there, pops that hot coolant cap off and doesn't care what happens. <laughs> it's fast, man. It really is. It runs really well for a 20 year old sled. Um, corners, awesome. I mean, this is an MXZ, stretched out a little bit, but it handles the trail like a boss. You get her in there? Yeah. What am I supposed to drink? I got some for you. Three miles, day one on the rev. Yeah. Actually uh, went really pretty good. It's pretty mint for uh, a 03 rev. And we'll do our work to it and make it a badass mountain sled. Another like uh, two months, this thing will be a totally different sled and uh, yeah. it will truly be a pretty wild beast at that point, I think. So. Ripping up Jackson. Maybe. Yeah, can't wait to ride this thing up Jackson. The snow gets better, obviously there'll be a lot of really cool riding we're got got planned uh, we have some some spots we want to go that uh, last year's snowpack didn't really allow um, there'll be a lot of stuff kind of keeping everybody caught up on this the rev project here um, our, our heydays of jackson build so stay tuned uh, to, to see the progress we're making there but uh yeah a lot of good stuff coming thanks to you dude please subscribe don't forget hit buy our merch hit the uh notifications yeah button. turn your notifications so on you know when we're hitting the www we hope you guys like it stay tuned that's all i can say for now don't forget to be a fly on the wall <laughs> got action stop action now stop the action